Look at this hero over here. Hello! Hey, hi. First off, welcome to July, everybody. We're more than halfway through 2023. God help us all. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to July. Goodness gracious. That's a new one. Kale. <laughs> Autocorrect me like. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I hope everyone's uh, weekend was well. I hope everyone's month of June went as good as possible. Mine was kind of all over the place, so hopefully hopefully things change. Uh, it's going to be a little hectic, though, so I've had to change uh, schedule a little bit. It sucks because I just started to, like, enjoy the whole the whole five per week thing, but I realized, like, I got a lot to do. <laughs> so so we're, we're chilling with three. I think three is okay. Saving channel. Not again! Rosie did that last time. I'm sure I'll get it when I least expect it, and all, all pretense will fly out the window like I'm playing a scary game. Anyway. Um, as, it's the reason I have it there, because it's funny. Uh, yeah, so we're in July now, which, again, is so weird. Uh, for starters, it stopped raining, finally. It was raining for, I swear, like nine days straight, and now it's warm and sunny, and you can go outside, and you can cook. It's so good. It's so nice. The The problem is, seeing as, seeing as at least for the Northern Hemisphere, it is uh, summertime, like I said, you cook. <laughs> I, well, hey. That, that was why the month of June was the month of June. Uh, though I have seen on Twitter, Opera GX is still going because someone is being spiteful and they were like, you know what, just for that comment, another, another week of this. Which, more power to them. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, I love Opera GX. Whoever runs Opera GX Twitter is a god. Uh, anyway. Yeah, obviously, we're gonna cook for the entire months of July, August, and probably even September, which is, oh, so great. So wonderful. Uh, but I'm kind of busy this month, because I'm going back home next month, so I gotta make sure that all plans are prepped, so... Uh, unless things change... Unless things change, I got to, uh, cut down on streaming just a little bit. And then, around when I head back, I'm obviously not going to be able to. Oh, nice! <laughs> Same timing! Look at that! Uh, but yeah, that's that's why I've had to cut down on stuff. I'm still uh, trying to keep up. What is it? Keep up with the Kardashians? I guess that's the expression. I hate the Kardashians. I don't know why I even use that. Um, but yeah, just trying to just trying to keep up with um, with everything. And I do like doing this, so I didn't want to just completely like shit can it because I'm busy with other stuff. I wanted to at least. It's it's fine. It's only like three hours, three days a week. Whatever. Just trying not to overdo it because I know when I overdo stuff, I overdo stuff like really bad. Um, anyway, speaking of overdoing stuff, uh, today I'm going to, uh, double back on the, the Minecraft stuff because I am, I need this farm so I can do 120 things. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I'm not there doing it. Um, but I need this farm so I can do 120 things. Uh, I have explored far too much of this, this, uh, seed already, so I need world gen to be good to me, and in order to do that, I have to, uh, get a bunch of... Gunpowder from f a farm that I need to automate. So that's the plan today is we're gonna build that and then we're gonna prep for stuff <laughs> Yeah, very very handsome very humble <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna pop on over we're gonna play some some craft We're gonna chill out craft is always chill except when I'm in the nether then I scream my head off because I hate the nether uh, But we're not going there today. So uh, I'm gonna hop on over. We'll get right to that. That was the wrong panel. Pardon me. <laughs> totally, totally, 100% uh, focused. Gunpowder, guns, weaponry, firearms. <laughs> Hello, sir. Are you from America? Yes. How do I know this? You like McDonald's cheeseburger and firearm. What the hell? What's going on? Stream. Oh my god, OBS, you good? <laughs> I think. What the hell just happened? It went slam. 
Sir, you've activated the automatic doors too many times. We're gonna have to escort you out of the premises. But I need to get in this, my special sale going on. Anyway, here we are, Minecraft. Took long enough. Oh, really? So it's not just me? I don't know, it's it's a it's a goof. I swear if Minecraft just crashed. Oh <laughs> God. Minecraft plus. I, I've I've done everything in my power to prevent Minecraft from crashing on this PC. I think it's just something to do with Optifine just not having a good day. Whatever. Whatever. Who cares? We'll get into the game eventually, and then I'm just purely just not allowed to tab out. Maybe I should, like, open up Twitch on my phone and mod that way. I don't know, just in case. Ah, it'll be fine. If the game crashes, it saves. It's not like we lose progress. I mean, we, we do. We do. Shh. Minecraft roguelike win. I don't know if I would actually play that. It feels like it would feel like torture. That's the goal. That's the goal. The The game is something to be focused on, but I like to fill the space. Again, not to not to throw shade at other people, but I have uh, one of my best friends dabbles in uh, in streaming every so often. He's very inconsistent with it because it's basically like a like a not it's not even a side gig. Um, it's just something that he does. It's like, hey, I should probably stream this. And uh, there was one time when I've told the story a bunch, but he was playing Warframe and uh, he raided someone who was playing for nine hours. Just complete silence. That with a streamer friend when you get back. Sick. Warframe is fun. I just have to get into it again. But also, yeah. Um, if, if anything else, going back to the States so I can hang out with the, with the friends is nice. Uh, they have... <laughs> Damn. The silence? What do you mean the silence? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the the main thing is so I can hang out with the friends again. We don't really hang out that much. We're we're a bunch of gamers. We're a bunch of introvert gamers. But when we do, it's usually Mario Party in a backyard, uh just <laughs> make in front of each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this there's this fun in joke. Um where one of them, <laughs> we can hang out. I don't even know where you live. Anyway. Um, yeah, so there's this one funny in-joke where uh, one of my friends has a, a crazy winning streak. I don't know if it's a luck uh, situation or he's just genuinely good at the mini games, uh, but he always plays at um, EST. He always plays, uh, what is it? Blah, 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 blah. Luigi. And because he plays Luigi all the time, he always wins with Luigi. So whenever he wants to get under one of my other friends' nerves, he just he just walks out and says, Luigi is the superstar. <laughs> just like that. And it just it just absolutely ruins his day. Luigi is the superstar. <laughs> He's, it's happened multiple times. Also, East Coast Bog. I mean, I would. Problem is, I like rarely ever win Mario Party when I do get the chance to play it. Thankfully, I have a Switch now, so it's it's gone from a a uh, non-starter to hey, you know, this might be fun. I think I've mentioned that before, right? I've never really been a big Nintendo person. Uh, I've only I've only recently like bought a Switch for the fact that I've been missing so many high quality games. That plus, I swear to you, Nintendo just extorts people with the amount that they're still charging games for. <laughs> honestly, honestly, save yourself the trouble. Same, same. I used to be fully, fully PlayStation invested. I grew up with um. My dad, my dad had a PS1. I started with the PS2, um, and I had wow, I had a lot of games on the PS2, and then I went from there to an Xbox 360, and then an Xbox One, and then I doubled back to a PlayStation 4, and then by that time I got a PC. Yeah, PS2, PS2 is what I grew up with, 100%. There's so many classics on PS2. 
Uh, let's see. Well, actually, PS1 and PS2. Yep, Crash Bandicoot, Jack and Daxter, uh, those those Jam Pack games. Uh, let's see, Legacy of Cain, Armored Core. There's a ton of Final Fantasy. <laughs> Final Fantasy X. I know that people like to rant and rave about Final Fantasy VII, but Final Fantasy X is still my favorite. <laughs> Bollock Spot's there to tell you what's up. But yeah, like, uh, that that is, I swear to you, the only console that I have had, that, that I have two of. FFX is decent. Hey, I liked it. That was, that was the first game that I actually tried to, to, uh, what is it? Like, I looked up guides and how to grind and how to min-max stuff. Ooh, so I have a story about this one. So, uh, so my brother had more games and was more invested in other stuff than I did. He introduced me to, uh, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, Devil May Cry, and I'll thank him forever for that. Um, but those, like, he introduced me to all those titles, because, yeah, of course. Um... But there was at one point, I think he was, yeah, he was staying with us for a couple years. A couple years, I think. Um, and around that time, he brought some of his some of his stuff over because he lived in New York and uh, estranged all that bullshit. It's a, it's a long, it's a very long story. But uh, he had Final Fantasy VII, and it was the first time that I saw I ever saw a double jewel cased PS1 game. And I was like, what the hell is this? I, I didn't really play it because, for those who don't know, Final Fantasy VII is like a 30, 40 hour game. Um, but I did have the original copy on PS1 in my hands at some point in my life. I just never ended up like sitting down and playing it. Final Fantasy X though. Also, hi, good to see you. Hope things are well. But yeah, Devil May Cry, uh, Kingdom Hearts, specifically Kingdom Hearts 2. I don't care. I don't care what people say. Kingdom Hearts 2 is still a fucking riot. Um, but yeah, I, I have I like a bunch of gaming stories. It's oh god, I've been playing video games since I was like four, and I have some some uh, pretty pretty hot and cold takes <laughs> with a bunch of stuff. I know. I'm aware. I'm aware that Final Fantasy VII's good. It's just I haven't played it, so I can't formulate an opinion on it properly. Also, his sword is about the same size as Guts' sword from Berserk. What is it with anime boys and big swords? Not in that way. Uh, anyway. So I got some stuff. Yeah, when I get a PS1 again, and have the ability to like... Oh, no, I can probably... Nah, that's... It's piracy. Whatever, I'll figure something out. I got a lot of, I got a backlog anyway that I gotta dig through. Uh, okay, so. The idea is, I need to find somewhere to put this, um, it's gonna look like a flying saucer. Just play the remaster. Yeah, but I, I wanna wait for the remaster to, like, it's gonna take years, but I wanna wait for the remaster to go over the entirety of, of Final Fantasy VII, because it's only the first, like, third of it right now, right? Or even the first quarter. Until, until we get one-winged angel in fully rendered 3D, I, I'm gonna withhold. Feels, feels incomplete without the full story. It's like reading, it's like reading the first three books of Harry Potter and just calling it a day. Can't do that, you gotta read all seven. Should I place this over water, or should I place this over... I don't know. Actually, you know what? Let's place it up on the mountaintop. Falling down from the mountain! But Big Sword. Yes, I like Big Sword. I used Big Sword in the, uh, in Elden Ring. But it is not Big Sword. It's not Big Yest Sword. It is just Big Sword. You have an obsession with Cloud Strife, don't you? Hey, you know what? I'll give you some credit. At least it's not fucking Sephiroth, like everyone seems to fall, fall head over heels for. Ugh, I'm an edgy dude with white hair and a big sword that's like twice the size of me. Yeah, cool. Um, can you say something other than kill and I want to kill you? Appreciate that. Also, there's two different clouds. 
there's there's like uh pre-mid game cloud strife and then edgy cloud strife like advent children cloud strife I will say, Wacky Woohoo Pizza Man from Devil May Cry is, is based as hell. Do it for Well, technically, it's the other way around because Nero's Virgil's kid. Spoilers for Devil May Cry 5. So, so Dante's the virgin. God, I want to play Devil May Cry 5 again. Dante and Virgin. It is based off of Dante's Inferno. Uh, but I don't... Have I talked about this in... I haven't... Wow. I haven't talked about this since probably December, back when I, like, made a list of all the games and where I thought they... It was a tier list. I did the tier list thing. Um, but I talked for, like, an hour and a half about, about Devil May Cry, uh, because, man... I played every that that's one series where I kid you not I have played every single game all of them every single one and uh, do, do I regret playing two nah it was still okay definitely weak as hell though but yeah I need to play five again Five, uh, five has a huge skill ceiling, too. Minecraft advice? Uh-oh. Lay it on me, I'm all ears. Yeah, two is fine. The The main issue with, with Devil May Cry 2, by far, was, um, the fact that it was, it was so focused on how strong the guns were that it was, like... But I do still like, weirdly enough, I like Argus Axe the Chaos. Wow, I can't believe it did that. Hold on, did Minecraft crash? I really hope it didn't. Oh, we got lucky. Ooh, we got lucky. I, I wanted to pass that. This auto mod, I have it on, I have it on mild, by the way. Again, better safe than sorry, but God. What is it, 19, 1944 in Eastern Europe? A bit strict. What elevation am I at? Because I don't want to go too high. Uh, eh. Ooh. What's max What's max world height? Is it 256? Actually, hold on. Let's test this. Pardon me. <laughs> Patrick Bateman face. <laughs> Got the corners on it. Oh, it's weird seeing grass redded from this far away on Optifine. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, at least you can see the biome spread. Oh, I not. You can see my village from here. Look at that. Whoa. I, I usually don't see it from above. I'll probably see it a lot more when I get the whole, uh, you know... Gunpowder farm up and running. How high is world height? Is it 256? Where am I right now? Oh, I have more than enough leeway. I was just checking to make sure that I had leeway for, uh, for the AFK spot, because this does have an AFK spot. All right, time to break my knees. Never mind, shovel's not fast enough. We take those, we take those. <sighs> I'm not I'm not even gonna retort to that. It's, that was like hand fed. That was like a hand fed joke. Oh my, that's three skeletons. Listen. 
I, I, it's probably not the first time this has ever been said, but I like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure much like most people like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's been very influential because, yeah, of course it has. Not everything's a JoJo reference. <laughs> it's funny to see them. Not everything's a JoJo reference. Though, um... <laughs> the, um... The AI-generated Dio covers that have been uh, running rampant recently always make me laugh. <laughs> I know the whole I know the whole conversation with uh, with AI art and everything, and I'm definitely on the side of do it yourself rather than have something else do it for you. But the fucking the AI the AI covers are very silly, right? <laughs> right? I don't know why. It just works. You can definitely, you can definitely take it in the idea of like, if you're using a real person's voice though, it's like, yeah, you could use that for exploitative stuff, but I'm sure 4chan's done that already. Actually, no, I'm not, I'm not sure that 4chan's done that already. 4chan definitely has done that already. <laughs> right, right, it's, if, if it's for, listen, if it's for humor and it's recreational, I think it's fine. If you're using it to earn money, or you're using it to be exploitative, yeah, then go fuck yourself. That's that's the end. That's the end of it. Okay. <clears throat> heard Schlatt sing gang. No, but I have heard Schlatt. What was Schlatt singing? Uh, it was something. It was like, oh, Schlatt singing the the um. The sus remix of Mask by Dream. <laughs> I've heard that one. Uh, okay. All right. I got to start building this farm now or else I'm never going to be able to do it. Deep ocean biome. I will, though. Uh, I got introduced for the AI covers by um, by that, that same friend who likes to say Luigi is the superstar. He... You know, he managed to, like, create his own voice model as well. Thanks for sticking around. I don't know how he managed to do that, but he did. All right, we got all our stuff here. I will, I will. Actually, hold on. While I'm, while I'm not busy, before I start uh, building this farm, let me put it in a side tab. Schlatt Gangnam Style. <laughs> Jay Schlatt singing Korean probably is cursed. Oh, there it is. Wow. That's a lot of views. Anyway, farm time. I'll be constantly referencing this because, yes. 3x4 platform out of building blocks. Stay till what's over. Oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not reacting to it right now right now i always do that after the fact uh what was it two by four? Oh, three by four whoopsie yeah hey you want me to do you want me to do reaction based content i've uh i've missed that that stream like twice now so it was gonna be the Saturday stream, and then um, I had to I had to take a break, and then I had to take a break again. So that's when we'll get there. Let me sort my inventory out before I do anything else. Make sure that we're deep and crisp and even. I'm not even I'm like I'm not even attempting to stall. I'm just a scatterbrain. I do this all the time. I have one objective and then I manage to like do 50 others before I get to the thing I wanted to do. Oh man, I really gotta work on like this project or I really gotta do this thing. And then it's like 6 p.m. and I'm like, yeah, this is, this is a good time. Dinner, who cares? Let's put stuff away. Why do I have spare? Oh, I know why.
More dirt for the dirt gods. More cobble for the cobble gods. These in here. I have a lot of paper. And... Oh, I didn't pull the saplings out. Whoops. Organizational skills. No. Yes. I can probably put some of these tools away because I'm not going to really use them right now. That is... Those are important. Okay, clear inventory. Let's go do this building stuff. I have that full shulker chest of, of cobblestone sitting in the middle. It is going to drain so fast when I start having to fill in. It's going to be an interesting overlook. Ow, ow, I forgot that those are there seeing this massive, almost saucer-like structure. I think, I think it'll look interesting, if nothing else. Like those, uh, like those windmills they put around the coastline for, uh, renewable energy. Probably take down some more of these trees, too. Nah, I'll leave them. It's gonna be over here. Okay, so first thing I gotta do is follow the guide. Three by four. I grabbed all this stuff. And grab a decent amount of these. And some of these. All right. First things first. What is it, three by four? The person in the video is using stone bricks so it's easier to measure out. Yep, three by four. Cool. And the best part, storage system. It's always fun doing these because you know at the end of the day, even if it's um, a slightly taxing build, it's a machine that will work. Let's just go. Also, I do genuinely like this like stacking method. It's very compact. It's it's surprisingly compact for how much space it actually can, can take up. Though personally, if I was to uh, what's it? If I was to redesign this, I would have them all funnel into one chest instead. But that does create a uh, a flow stop, especially if you expand upwards. Satisfactory taught me about that. If you have everything funnel into one place. Uh, it stays more organized, but you get uh, severe amounts of, like, overflow, and it just gets stopped up so fast. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Go up two temporary blocks and make a border that goes around the hoppers. Whoa! Oh, I see. Perfectly around the hoppers? Yup. Uh, temporary blocks. Nice thing too about having hoppers here is uh, every time you every time you drop something, it'll go right into storage. So you never truly lose anything. I'm obviously going to test this after all is said and done. Because if I don't test it. That I've essentially, I could, I could have probably built a, uh, what would you call it? A giant building that does nothing. Stand out all sides by two. Just making sure. Okay. Yep, extend everything out by two, but don't fill the corners. Easy enough. This was the farm that I said 
uh, a while back. I was helping I was helping my friends build on a, a different server from oh, obviously a multiplayer server. This is a single player, uh, but they couldn't figure out how to do circles. <laughs> and I had been doing circles for a very long time, either because of building or um, like architecture work. Even though I'm not fantastic at it, it's super helpful to at least know how to do it. And the amount of times they messed it up by being like one block off, I know the pain. Mosquito. Mr. Miyagi, where are you now? I just killed another mosquito by clapping it midair. Didn't you do it with the chopsticks in Karate Kid, though? Yeah, so I'm nowhere near that level. Having lightning fast re reflexes is definitely a a good thing, though. And here's a fun scientific fact. Um, apparently, human reflexes are varied based on input. It sounds a little complicated, but what I mean by that is your uh, your ears are faster than your eyes. So if you hear something, you actually have a faster reaction time uh, via an auditory cue than you do by uh, seeing it. Because I think it's something like your your hearing is like 20 to 40 milliseconds, but your sight is 80. So that delay actually creates a, a shorter reaction, uh, like a longer reaction time. It's super interesting. Because you'd think it'd be consistent with the amount of, um, what's it? Uh, the way that your, your brain signals work, but it's not. I have to get up here. I've been asked to build a wall. So I must do what is asked. There we go. It feels, it really does feel like I'm playing uh, old fashioned Minecraft because I'm using cobble for a build. I normally use Deep Slate, but it's just so, so much easier to get large amounts of cobble right now. Still happy that the iron farm is made out of Deep Slate. It looks different from everything else, and that's kind of why I did it. I just like how many blocks we have now. The introduction of, uh, what is it, cherry wood and... Uh, the bamboo blocks is super, super nice for, for architecture. We still don't have, like, uh, what is it, paper walls and things like that, but you can kind of budget. You want to go full full Japanese architecture? Because I know people are going to when they, uh, like, with the cherry blossoms. I mean, I did. There's eight fence gates in the middle. Oh! Okay. Interesting. Which direction do we want them to face? That way. Orange fence gates. I'm gonna put these here, just in case. Oh. There we go. Oh, uh, I have a feeling I know what I did and it's not going to look great. We'll see. Do you want me to open them all? Yep. Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah, that works. There's no way to, like, make the middle ones um, be completely symmetrical. Like, that looks great. But you can't have that, so. Just open which way. I could turn this one, but nah. I'm not that picky. You're never gonna see this part of the farm. Make an infinite water and place it in the corners. Which corners? Ah, okay. Right, for the sake of flow. Got it.
I saw those two buckets. Yep. So each corner. I remember back when the, the water sound was different, too. Old Minecraft just feels so... I don't, I don't know if it's nostalgia or... Just the fact that it's old. But I remember back when the, when the, uh, the hit sound was ooh instead of the literal bone breaking it is now. Good times. They do. Cool, cool, cool. Make the wall two blocks higher. Okay. I'm gonna have to get back down to get more resources when I'm out of blocks. It'll happen. Oh, never mind. I know why uh, they wanted it in the deep ocean. It's because mob spawn rates are different and there's less places for them to spawn. Oh well. If my farm isn't 100% efficiency, that's fine. It's not the point, it's just to have it. Okay. Next step is super easy. Remember when I was working on this farm with uh, with those friends? I fell in the middle a couple times. And every time I did, I had to climb my way back out. Definitely not one of my highlights. I am clumsy, after all. So I can probably stack these buckets. Yep. Alright, square made. Place seven slabs in a U shape. I'm gonna make sure I'm still facing the chest direction, which is this way. Oh, I do have slabs. Okay, just had to double check. And a bed into the hole? Why though? still amazes me how a bed is basically like a pixel taller than a slab. There's eight fences to make another square. Oh, is it for the... Oh, I think I know why. There's a certain elevation that you have to hit with uh, snowmen. Here we go. Sixteen snow golems. All right, so now we actually have to do the snow golem stuff. Uh, but I have to build this up. All right, let me head back down quick so I can do an important thing. And it's not fend off mobs, thankfully. Grab some more of these. Grab some more of these. I have to use the shears on the pumpkins because I just have plain pumpkins. Probably should have done this in advance, but who's counting? Ow. Ow. Okay, all right, I see, I see your play. I'm not gonna die all the way out of here. Can't force my hand like that. 64 seeds, dang. I think I have some spare pumpkin seeds anyway. Right. Sure, I 
have 16 jack-o'-lanterns. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Perfect. And now I can build my way back up. There we go. Okay. Snow golems time. Oh, why are you dying? Because we're in a savanna. <sighs> Forgot about that. Do they just do they just perma die when they're in a savanna? Hold on, I'm looking this up. Snow golem. Completely forgot about that mechanic. A little passive mob. Uh, place it blah 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 blah. Behavior. Snow golems are damaged in contact with rain or in biomes greater than temperature than one. Savannas, badlands, deserts, or biomes in the nether. <sighs> God! Damn it. Okay. Oh, well, I have to tear all this down. God damn it! I should have known. How did I completely forget about that? Another fucking mosquito? Alright. Man, that sucks! I'm actually not happy. I can't believe I forgot about that. So I have to find somewhere else. That sucks. I wonder if I could use a different mob. Eh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll follow the guide. <sighs> Next time I'll remember that. I knew I was missing something. Not a big deal. I didn't make the rest of the farm, which I'm glad it's why it was that early on. Would have been a lot worse. I could have been I could have been 75% done and I would have said, oh, you can place the snow golems now, and I've been like, why are they dying? What's happening? So I do have to unplace the stone now. Damn, damn Minecraft mechanics being realistic. Can't we just play snow golems in the middle of lava and have them live? Come on. I think the hoppers are still there, hopefully. Catch all my mistakes. Oh no, I'm using an axe on dirt. So I'm probably going to have to build it off to the hillside on the opposite end. As long as the block that I place the snow golems on isn't savannah, we should be okay. God damn it. Yeah, I can place it over there. Why did I pick the place I live, man? It's like being an ice cream salesman in the Sahara Desert. I mean, the idea is sound, but could have picked a better place. Ah, well. Oh, well. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. I made a cool overlook. That's why I did it. I just forgot about the... See, you play, you play Minecraft for a long time doesn't mean you know everything. I basically know nothing, let's be frank. Probably should have brought the good pickaxe for this. Why is that spider still here? I do have to go get more snow now, which actually kind of sucks. 
Unless I manage to have a snowball at home. I hope so. I'd be I'd be actually surprised if I did. Don't tell me this pickaxe is gonna break. I hope not. It'd be so much easier and creative. Yeah, it would, but the farm would make no sense. Why are you farming for items of creative unless you're, like, designing stuff? Ow. Creative is, for, like, creative is literally for creating. Those massive, massive, uh... Was it natural builds? That one guy who made a black hole. Okay. No, the big ass will be fine. Worrying for nothing. Hoppers, at least. At the very least, I can get back to this exact point because I have the, the blocks on me to do so. But I have to retread some steps. Alright, Axe, don't fail me now. And it failed me. You had one job! It took your germ! Almost. Not a massive teardown, but this plateau is going to be a little bit flatter. It reminds me, it reminds me of the, what is that? There's one farm. I don't remember which one it is. It, it might be fishing. It might be something to do with, uh, with, with Skulk. I don't remember. But it, it's a farm that you have to make face a specific direction. And if you don't, it doesn't work properly. And it's like really crucial. So, I have to go check to see if I have extra snow. Did I get all the pumpkins here? I hope not. I don't want to have 15 golems. I want to have 16 golems. I want to make it in a nice, crisp, even square. Let's see if I'm lucky. If not, I'm gonna have to go back and get one snowball. Wait. How do I have 15? How do I have 15 snowballs? It's only... How did I get more snowballs? How did I get more snowballs? I didn't know that was a mechanic. What? All right, whatever. Uh, do I have... Ooh. Hang on. I just, I just realized that A, I probably should have kept those pumpkin seeds, and B, there might not be any more pumpkins around here. I didn't collect all of them, did I? There's no way there were exactly 16. I did collect all of them. Hold on, let me, let me take a quick walk. Oh, good, I didn't. Whew. That was close. There we go. All right. 
Yep, 16 and 16 times 2 is 32. Yep, just had to double check. How did I get more snow? I'm still, I'm still questioning that. Alright, let's return this to the abode. And find a different spot. I can, you know, I can place it above the mine shaft. Might look a little awkward, but at least it won't, at least the golems won't die. Let's put these in here so that I actually... Yeah, let's put them on top of my... Um, Mineshaft. I don't know why, but I was like... I just had the instinct to uh, to hit a key in noclip. Because <laughs> I've been playing Gmod. I was like, oh yeah, I can go over this. It's not how that works. Yeah, this will be fine. Might look a little ugly, but... Again, at least the golems won't burn. No shovel and no axe. Sad day. We fine. Just have, I just have to not mess up. It's like writing an essay. It's like it's like writing a math problem with a um, with a pen instead of a pencil and an eraser. I actually have had to do that, by the way. If there's, if there's any one thing that uh, that education has taught me, it's you never do math problems with a pen. There are so many times that you have to you have to backtrack because you either wrote the wrong number, missed a sign, or something like that. Scratching out a line and rewriting it in a math problem is so bad. You get so confused so fast. And it was temporary blocks up, oh, make a ring. Oops. Probably should put this on the hot bar. There we go. Oh. oh. All right. I don't need the shears anymore. Oh, let me place my shulker box once I'm up there. Once I'm up there. Smarter to do it when I'm up there. I'm going to be using the shulker boxes while I'm up top building, so I can wait. It's funny watching uh, the people who do a lot of these build guides. Uh, it's usually Shulkercraft who either um, takes builds from from other uh, Minecraft content creators or or make their own and then show you how to build them. Uh, but every time I every time I see a Shulkercraft, God damn it! Every time I see a Shulkercraft video, uh, they're always fully decked out in armor, usually with an elytra so they can fly around while building. And it's funny because that's why I'm building this is for uh, gunpowder for my elytra. Like building a car while while already owning a Ferrari. Oh no! As long as uh, skeletons don't shoot me off this precipice, I'll be just fine. Oh, you can get up here. How about, uh, get the hell off my turf? Get the hell out of here. Get out of here. He's gonna find his way back up. You know, they're smart. Never mind. Aha! Place that block there. His one path to entry is gone forever. Never mind. Man, they have smart pathing. Alright, hold on. I'm not dying here. 
one zombie. There we go. Out of this house. Spirits be gone from this house. I went from building this in a clearing to building this in the middle of a bunch of trees. What do the trees think? I'm sure placing blocks of solid stone directly on the branches probably isn't doing much to help. Yeah. That's why I brought the pick. Hey, at least now we can overlook the village and not uh, stare at it from a distance. Like we're in a crow's nest on a ship seeing shore. All right. Fence gates. Just like before. Oh, now they all open the same direction. There we go. Perfect. I make that uh, source one more time. See, I don't have to cross-reference the video to make absolutely sure because it wasn't they weren't that complicated of steps. A lot of stuff that I actually haven't done in this world. I beat the game. I've gotten an end city. I have an elytra on all that. Um, once I upgrade to 120, I'm gonna have all the 120 stuff to do. But this like base game stuff that I haven't done. I barely fished. Um, I haven't explored every biome, so I don't have every tree. What, am I missing? What trees am I missing? Mangrove. Uh, I haven't looted any bastions. That sort of stuff. Though, it's better to upgrade to 120 so I can properly do that whole, like, endgame thingy thing. Alright. Now that I'm back here. And the snow golems won't instantly die the moment they look the wrong way. Should be just build up by two. Yep. Nearly fell. Nearly fell again. I love whatever this is. Sorry, I'm just paying attention to my Spotify. This is a this is one of those plays that I had up for. It was I was playing Destiny, and I wanted to use this instead of the normal lo-fi that I have, just because there's more here. It's all video game music, though. This video game music is very, very good. Oh. So if I can pick that up. Yay! Oh, this has cobble in it. Yes, it does. There we go. All right, this shulker is now... Empty. Okay. All right, sitting above this should be the build the wall. Make a five by five square. Place seven slabs in a U shape. Place a bed. Place fences. Yep. Make sure, I'm facing the same direction as the chests. Ugh. Please pick that up. Please pick that up. Please pick that up. Please pick that up. Pick 
Of course I didn't. All the times that I actually needed to keep a block on me. Huh? Bleah! I'm not moving my mouse up that much. Ain't misplacing. That's what I get for high shit. That's what I get for high DPI. Well, I have to build up now. See, this is what was happening when I was, uh, was it, when I was building it before. You bastard! Yeah, burn! All right, that's enough. Are you fucking kidding? I forget when Minecraft's on hard mode, they have the aimbot of Face Clan. Why can't I have nice things? Literally building a farm, and I can't not die. No, I'm walking around with no armor, but I was ex wasn't expecting to get sniped out of a fucking crow's nest. You, you, you prick. Quit maneuvering around like you think you're hot shit. I pick up all my stuff again. Didn't I have, like, 22 levels or something? Whatever. Okay. Build back up. There we go. Red hot bar. Pick this up, please. God! I wasn't standing on it! There we go. Okay, can I please not fall down again? Whatever. It's dirt. Here's... Okay, slabs. There we go. How did I do it so perfectly the first time? Bed. Fences. Oh, did, oh shit. Okay, just don't have to die. Then I will spawn in the trap after this is all over. All right, 16 snow golems time. Hey, there we go. They have a nice cushion on them, too. Classy. All right, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Are they sinking into the bed? Yeah. Eight. Nine. Ten. Shit. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, God! <laughs> whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Doing so well. Have to not misplace. And one more. All right, sixteen snow golems. That was ridiculous. them all in a circle. Hit them. Oh, to break them up. 
Make a territory roof on top. Oh, I probably should have kept the block there. Well, while I have this shulker, I could have more temp blocks on me. Or not. Ah, might as well pull some of those out. This has all the other blocks in it. Yep, there's the rest of the dirt. Knew it. Throw some of the cobble back in here so I can pull out some important blocks. There we go. Oh, I need space for the chalkers. One block above? Yes. Alright, now you will never burn in the sunlight. Never, ever, never, never. Front of the fence, add buttons. Oh, all the way around? Easy enough. Stone button. Can't even see them. I had to open trapdoors to the inside walls of the holes. Cool story. Start with the 24. Now I just have to not fall off. Oh, I like these trapdoors with this texture pack. They actually have the latch on the end. Remember, for the longest time, all we had was, was oak trapdoors, and it just looked like weird wooden window panes. Variety is the spice of life. That is for damn sure. There we go. Oh, through the whole thing. Got it. I'm gonna place them on the on the outside too. Why wouldn't you place them on the outside? I love though how how uh shit. God I can I can forsake one. Uh I love though how the way uh, Minecraft Bob AI works. They think this is a full block because it's it's a change state. But you can fall straight through it, which is why they're so useful in farm builds like this. There you go. From each edge go out 11. Okay. This is the big build step. Got it. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I will do some mountaineering on the right side because I can already see that's going to be a problem. One, two, five, six. This poor tree. Also get rid of that dirt after. Let's see how far in I have to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, not too far. Nine. Eleven is right here. Oh, that's weird. Stone for this exact section. Hey, more cobble, though. Alright, let me just make sure that is 11. Yep. And it should be the circle now. The circle of life. Four, three, two, one. 
one, one, one. Okay. This is not this is not a complicated circle. Two, three, four, in one, two, three. Blocks, please load for me. One, two. There we go. Yeah, so it's four, three, two, one on each side, and then you connect it with a diagonal. One, two, three, four, diagonal. One, two, three, diagonal. One, two, diagonal. One, one, one. Wow. One, two, three, four. This is how people count. Four, three, two, one. This is this is just a voxel uh, sphere with radius it's eleven. Twenty two plus five. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Thirty three. Voxel sphere with radius thirty three. I can't see that, eh? Quick muffs. Speaking of quick muffs, um, the reason why I'm as busy as I am is because my, uh, my, like, my, well, obviously I'm, like, getting ready to move out and all that sort of stuff, but on top of things, my research has started to delve into machine learning, which means I have to sit in front of my computer and, and, like, make and do training for long stretches of time and if i don't i'm not gonna have like any model to to present so i was thinking about that and i was like all right i need a lot of a lot more time so i can do stuff like that and yeah it is just sitting in front of a computer waiting for numbers to happen but i do need to sit in front of a computer to wait for numbers to happen i can't just have it do it. I don't have two computers. I wish I did. I will when I go home. But the research will be done by then, so it's like... Kind of a non-issue. Four. In one, one, two, three. In one, two, one. Helps to count out loud with my PB brain. my god. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Ah, uh, Undertale. Two. One. And I have to do it on that side. Alright, Mountain, what can you give? I'm gonna have to cut into it even further because I need to create the border. One, two, three, four. In one. There we go. it up. Bam! Perfect circle. Well, as close as you can get with blocks. Quite still stands. Let me guess you filled it in now. Yep. All right, let's start with the wide open areas.
This is the fun part. Placing blocks. Probably have to light up the underside. Oh. Well, pickaxe, let's hope you can deal with the probably frequent number of mistakes I'm going to make while doing this. Really hope. I have a tendency to never crouch when I do this either, so I could probably fall off. I wonder what the snow golems think right now. Why are we trapped here? I want to get out and go spread snow around. Yeah, good for you. Your purpose in life is to deal with mobs. Not much else. Enjoy this vacation, because it's the last one you'll ever get. Soon you will be working for me to make resources. Not literally, but you'll be shooting snowballs a lot. Oh, speaking of creepers. There's one right now. Fancy a drink, mate. I don't think he likes me. It was cordial. So just have to be nicer. Actually, no, they're kind of volatile people, so asking them for a drink is probably not the smartest. It's like asking a gunman if he'd spare some ammo. Yeah, probably right into your cranium. Spass some bullets, mate. Probably give you some advice like switching to your sidearm is faster than reloading. You know shit, Sherlock, we've all played God. <sighs> Time. How many hits do I have left on this? Seven. All right. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Gonna be having to solve this math test with a pen. There's a reason these are permanent blocks in the guide, though. Place them right the first time, you won't have to dig them up and replace them. Mobs will start spawning up here. I don't think the circle is wide enough, though. That would kind of suck. This is definitely becoming a dark zone under here. The trees actually do help a bit, surprisingly, because it takes up space that would otherwise be just absolutely coated in darkness. So that's nice. Oh, that's right, I have even less pickaxe durability because I need to place and break the shulkers. And I even I have even less durability than that because I have to break the mountain. Eh, I can do that with my fists. Ever punch rocks before? Don't. It hurts. I once palm strike the uh, cinder block after... God, like, hours of figuring it out. It's all, it actually is about, um... You know, you know the expression, putting your whole weight into it? It is that. Shit. Like, you're not just breaking it with your wrist or just breaking it with your arm. You're physically... Damn! Guys, you're hurting each other. damage, but still, you're hurting each other!
Oh, they still... Yeah, they're still hostile to the... Uh, to the snow golems. So I can make a break for it. I'm gonna make another pickaxe. That's why I'm actually returning home. Or I could just use the diamond. Yeah, I'll just use the diamond one. Who cares? I can buy it from a toolsmith when I level him up. Thing has uh, a breaking three anyway. All right, back to it. Now I don't have to worry about the pickaxe. What I do have to worry about is the fact that there are now two creepers <laughs> underneath my farm. And their main intent is to follow me and blow up. Hey, zombies! It's a sunny day! That was stupid. Listen, I know you're not vampires, but you still can burn in the sun. Not your smartest. Oh, he is making his way over here faster. Thank you, snow golems! See, they know what they're worth. Last thing I need is a creeper exploding up here. I like how because of my positioning, it is just a disc of stone carved into the side of a mountain. Who cares about land mass? We, we industrialize. It's such a horrible thing to say. Three quarters done. I just have more temporary blocks now. I, again, like I said, I'll have to dig even more of this mountain now because I have to place a rim around this. But that's an issue for a little bit from now. Oh, hi. I see you. You're making an attempt. Golems, you're just hurting each other right now. Yeah, that creeper has no chance. That creeper has no chance. Oh, I see what the snow golems are used for. I was like, is it to do damage? No, not necessarily. It's to aggro the creepers so that they walk towards the center. Oh, another stack. This poor tree. Oh, it's so weird with the fancy texture pack. See, <laughs> seeing the leaves shift out of their out of their coordinate block. Watch, I'll do it again. Okay. Because of the way the texture moves, it's just like slightly shifting out. Ugh. I don't know why that makes me feel uncomfortable. And I missed again. And I missed a bunch of times. Okay. Gotten a little less cautious because I have the pickaxe now. There we go. All right. Big circle done. That's the main platform for the farm. Uh, do I still have my slabs on me? That's the next thing I have to place down. Yep. There we go. 
filling the whole platform with slabs, leaving a two block gap between each one. Oh, okay. Oh, I love this. It's patterned, but it's harder to see. Because of the way the platform's designed, it is still a perfect, a perfect pattern. Should be one block away. Yep. And we just extend this out to the edge. Aha! That looks, that looks so cool. I, I love simple tessellation stuff like this. Including on the walls? Yes, actually. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. reason why they wanted me to get so many slabs and this is part of why. All to prevent spiders. Bastards. They're friendly at daytime to hide the facade that they're vicious killers. And constantly spawn to ruin your farms. Seems like that's their sole purpose in this game is to ruin farms. Not in the sense of, like, stepping on it like wandering traitors, but you know what I mean. I missed. Ignore this, I missed. I hit it. There we go. guarantee you the next step after this is build a wall. Look at that! That looks pretty cool! Alright, anti-spider countermeasures. Done. Yep, and then around the exact outer edge, two block hall, two block high wall. Let me find all the corners. just so it's easier to build up the pillars. Simple construction, but it's fun nonetheless. I mentioned before, I do like doing these uh, these industrial builds. It might be not what I'm not what I'm always used to. I'm very much uh, like a building person rather than a farm person, but it's for it's for my future happiness. Why? I just talked about you! This game hears me. There we go. Yeah, the dirt blocks are helping out immensely. That way I barely even have to move. Just have to reorient my view in a second here. This right here. There we go. Ooh, 
Ooh, nearly fell off. There we go. And now this side. This is right when it's going to come into contact with the mountainside again. Oh, did I? Hold on, checking something. Oh, it grew. Oh, it grew over. That's why it looked so weird. I don't really have to dig this out. I can just do this. Keep it simple, stupid. It's a very old expression. Keep it simple, stupid. It's true, though. It's always, it's sometimes very bad to overcomplicate things when you can just keep it simple. Why, why completely demolish this mountain when I can just slightly terraform and make it look like it was always here? that fall. There we go. I hear you, wandering trader, and I want nothing to do with you. Your trades are always terrible. I don't care if you even have something good. I don't want to hear you. Or your llamas. There's a wandering. I'm sure there's a wandering trader farm. There's a farm for basically every mob in this game. Warden farm, Wither farm, Ender Dragon farm. I bet. Would not be surprised. I wonder if there's an axolotl farm actually. Make sure that from the inside this looks the same all the way around. Because now it is all cobble and I'm not having to worry about the mountainside on that other edge. Oh, you know what I probably should have got? Because uh, there is an AFK platform up top. I probably should have gotten like glass or something. Eh, I could use building blocks. It's not a huge deal. Just a platform to sit and not get knocked off by phantoms. Can still die from them, though. There we go. Yep, exactly the same all the way around. And I just gotta make sure that this is the front. Okay. It's coming together. Now that I put in the right biome. Uh, make a roof of the trapdoors at the same height as the building blocks. 100% of it. Ah, everything except... Yeah, this is, this is the part that is going to take a second. Every single block except the ones around the uh, center with the snow golems. So, the shulker's empty, the shulker's empty. I need to get every single trapdoor that I still have. So let me put cobble back in 
here. This trapdoor. Alright, this is every single trapdoor. All of them. Let me swap my inventory out so I can have exclusively trapdoors on the hotbar, because this is going to take a bit. <laughs> it's such a unique idea having trapdoors as the main... Uh, what is it? Building block for the farm. But I kind of love it. Also, the, the slightly annoying thing, because you're building with trapdoors and they have a small hitbox, it's a pain to, like, not step on the, the slabs because you will go up even if you're sneaking. Let me just check something. Yeah, it's the entire square that it also includes the raptors here. Ah, oh, I did it again. That's fine, I have temporary blocks. Never mind, I fell. What? Shit! Oh! Woo! That was nerve-wracking. Say I've done that a couple times while building this. Phew! That was scary. I was a second away from having to redo that whole section. Trapdoors here. Yep, there we go. Yeah, on this side. <sighs> Again! I take off crouch right where the trapdoor is. I have a lot of dirt now, though. Creeper was a close call. I didn't realize it could it could aggro me from that distance. And again, I was only a couple blocks above it, so that makes sense. Ah! Next line. This one should be easy because it's just straight. I'm gonna do this kind of weird. I'm gonna stick to the right side and just kind of go around. <sighs> Thanks, guys! They are very aggressive. There we go. Ow! Fucking where? Where did I even get shot from? From. Like, actually, what the fuck? Where did I just get shot from? Was it a ghost arrow? What the fuck was that? Oh, sun's coming up, assholes. I know they're not gonna hit, get hit by it because they're underneath the farm, but... You know, I, I hope. That's what I like to do, is I like to hope. There we go. 
If I'm up at a sharper angle, it should be okay. Again, I love the fact that the Acacia Trapdoors have latches. That's just that little extra. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, Wanderer. Deal. Now the llamas are dealing with it, too. At least I don't have to. Bye. All right, same thing again. Look straight up, place. Sort of doing it in a spiral pattern all the way around. That's what I meant by doing it weird. Mainly so the top of it can at least have some pattern, so it's not just haphazardly placed, because trapdoors do have a direction. Especially these. Like, you can, you can sort of get away with, like, oak trapdoors. But with, like, acacia, dark oak, spruce, that sort of stuff, they do have a direction. Three on each side. We can do the fourth one. Yeah, this is gonna look like a pretty cool pattern, actually. Oh, stay off angle. Come on. Every time. An axe would probably be good for this. I knew this was going to be semi-decently slow. Again, I bring I bring up when I last built it. Um, because it's easy to reference. We, there was three of us <laughs> doing this roof bit. So it was done in like five minutes. I'm also extremely pattern-oriented, so I'm not happy with it just being there. Also just realized I need to extend this one out. Oh, I have to send this one out twice. Yeah. Here we go. I do want to climb up on top and see what this looks like when I'm all done. Actually, yeah, I'll be able to do that because I have to place blocks over the top to block the light. That's one of the last steps. I like spirals. This is one mathematical, very famous mathematical set uh, called the Fibonacci sequence, where you take uh, the two previous numbers, add them together, and that's how you get the next number. So it's, what is it? One, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, uh, twenty-one, thirty-four, fifty-five, and then it keeps going from there. And if you draw each of those numbers in an arc, it creates an, an ever-expanding spiral, with like an exponential growth. And people have found out that that specific pattern is actually present in nature, in like uh, conch shells, in uh, in a, a scatter plot, sunflower seeds, stuff like that. I guess because nature likes order, and it is orderly. There you go. I don't know. Math, math's cool. Theoretical math is sort of overly complex, and that's just because it's basically, hey, what if we take numbers and do crazy things with them? But sometimes you get some really cool stuff. Like the Mandelbrot set, fractals in general, tessellations... Uh, Manger Sponge, 
Freeman hypothesis, stuff like that. Ram's number. I don't know, math, math is cool when you're not forced to actually do it. It's cool when, when other people figure out some crazy stuff and you're like, wow, that's really interesting. Recreational mathematics, as uh, Matt Parker says. And it is, like, at least knowing fundamental math, it pops up more often than you'd expect it to. Not as like a, oh, this is required for your daily life sort of popping up, but more of a, oh, hey, because I know that thing that I learned in math class, I can actually do this, and it's not uh, super complicated for me to figure out. Make sure that that's lined up. Okay. So it does come in handy. Uh, case in point, uh, converting converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit and back uh, has become a pretty decent estimate for me because of the number of times I've had to do it to get my parents to understand how warm or how cold it is. Because, like, I, I have a perception of it because I know, like, oh, it's it's 20C outside. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's, like, not, not cold enough to be sweatshirt weather, but pretty close. And then my parents go, 20C, what's that? That's oh, like 62 Fahrenheit, 63. And I'm only off by about 5 degrees, which when it comes to weather isn't really that much. Scientists would laugh at me, but you go outside and it's 60 and you go outside and it's 65, unless there's a wind chill, you... It's kind of hard to tell the difference. A difference of like 10 degrees, yeah, that's more noticeable. 50 versus 60 versus 70. Oh, that already looks cool. Look at that. It's like a windmill. Well, now that I have, uh... Now that I have this connected, I can just probably build it out straight. Like this. Because I'm gonna have this go straight. It's gonna be in, uh, four quadrants, and they're all gonna be facing slightly different directions. Also, I just realized the latch is on the bottom. Look at that. Also, this is a really nice Mario Brothers theme remix. Again, for people in the VOD, you can hear the same Minecraft loop that I always got. Just thank you, Game Chops, as always. Well, for copyright's sake, I'd rather not have my wonderful um, VODs channel that I have all my archive stuff get nuked. Because I can't, I can't exactly um, hold all the video files on my PC, it'll get tanked up so fast. So it's nice to have that archive. I'm sure one of these days YouTube will roll out something and it's like, oh, that thing that uh, we let go, yeah, that's uh, nuked. Got a strike. And it's like, cool, thanks. Hey, you know, at least YouTube isn't imploding on itself like other websites are right now. It will. It has. Just give it a little bit. Oh, shit. I'm the king of misplacing clocks. It's weird because of the way that these trap doors are set up and because it I do have like proper shaders it is actually dark under here not excessively so but it is also wow am I already down to this few stacks I guess those long straightaways really did take a lot of resources this was so much wood this was so so much wood As long as those latches are facing the same direction, I don't have to worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Oh, 
啊啊！We can fix it. Can we fix it? Oh God! Oh, let's see how that corner looks. I'm curious. Ah, look at that. Like I said, it's quadranted off and it starts at, uh, at the halfway point. It's patterned. You're never gonna see it. Because I'm gonna cover it up with, uh, cobble, but... I like patterns. Also, I wonder if we could do it in reverse order. Uh, like if I ever build this again. Where I build, I put the trapdoor roof on first, because it's easier to build that way. And then I place the slabs down, probably. I also, again, have to make sure that I don't die because I still have my spawn point set at uh, that bed that's where the golems are now. I would like to not get spawn trapped in my own farm. I am not to be farmed. Speaking of, speaking of uh, pretty much farming every mob in the game, I wonder if Minecraft servers have player farms. That's, that's just a trap. That's all that is. Would it be funny if it was like explicitly written as player farm? <sighs> oh, I placed that at a weird angle. I'm surprised that it... I guess the angle is pretty lenient. Come on. I still to this day think that the zombies are saying bruh with that with that voice line. I do wonder which employee in turn or voice actor they got to do the zombie noises. Especially that one. Unless it's like not a human being. That would be a shock. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't a human being and it was like a process noise, but it sounds too human for it to not be. That was a joke back when they introduced pandas with bamboo. Everyone was like, how, how do they get the panda death noises? After, what was it, Jeb said something like, oh, we go to the zoos to get uh, real animal sounds. It's like, okay, but you got panda death.og in the game files. How'd you get those? How'd you get those, Mojang? How'd you do it? No unethical practices in my Minecraft game. What? Oh, mobs are spawning. I gotta kill that skeleton, hold up. As long as that creeper doesn't come any near, anywhere near me. Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, this one's backwards. Just the absolute cavalcade of snowballs going off. Hang on a second, I gotta check something. I will be right back. It was nothing. Thought I smelled like a gas leak or something and I'm, I'm good about it. I make sure I shut my, um, my gas stove off, but Always have to be careful about that stuff. There's one time I was, uh, this was early on, mind you, because I had never had a gas stove before, but there was one time I was talking with, with friends, 
and I had brewed a coffee using uh, a hot pot over the stove, and I had forgot to turn the gas off. So all of a sudden I was smelling, I was smelling sulfur, and I went, oh shit, I forgot to turn the tap off. It was only open for like 30 seconds. But if it wasn't, not that. If they, if they didn't add like a, a sulfur smelling, or is it methane? I don't know. It's like some sulfur based gas, I think. It smells like eggs. Um, shit! <sighs> the thing that I said I didn't want to happen just happened. Now I'm stuck here. No, I'm literally stuck here now. Uh... Fucking creeper! Why can I never build farms properly? I have, have enough. Thank God. Now I just have to go get more pumpkins. Yay! Fucking creeper. Why does nighttime have to last six years in Minecraft, man? I open up fucking trap doors now. How did I even get in? That's where it got in. Right here. Still have some spare slabs. Thank God I do. Literally building a farm for the fucking things and they can't even let me have a day off. Nuclear warfare everywhere they go. Stupid things. There's a reason they're like one of the most hated, if not the most hated mob in Minecraft. Absolute insane person for adding those to the game to screw with the player. But hey, if we want to build heavy ordnance, gotta play with fire. I could, I could actually use them for uh, what is it? Uh, for TNT, if I make a sand duper, which I have built before. It's interesting how you can use the end portal to essentially uh, chunk load, like force chunk load, and then cause sand to get sent through and duplicate itself. It's a very weird mechanic, but it does work. Watch me not have enough now because of that creeper. Sh would you shut the fuck up? It's almost daytime, so they'll stop spawning. I do have to go get pumpkins now. I can grow them, though. I have the seeds. I knew that was gonna happen. I was hoping that the creeper would just go the fuck away or die from the snowballs eventually, but I guess snowballs do zero damage and they just push back mobs. Should've known better. Ow. 
How much health do you have, bud? Thank you. At this point, I'm questioning whether or not I should be put Minecraft on hard. Because I haven't done the thing that requires you to do it. I haven't infected a villager and then cured it for easier trades. Primarily because I don't have golden hat. Nice, great. Right after the sun comes up. Is it a fucking thunderstorm? It's a thunderstorm. Are you actually kidding me right now? Well, mob spawns are going to continue. As long as I seal this off. As long as I seal this off. Wow, man. What luck. Oh, I just realized. If that thunderstorm strikes the top of this. Oh, that'll suck. Hopefully it doesn't. Oh, look, another fucking zombie. Oh, you're stuck, ain't you? Bastard. Oh, he had a lead! Yeah, let's hope that that random lightning strike doesn't get anywhere near me or my build. Actually... I don't think I can sleep. It'll say monsters nearby. Which is weird because my spawn point's set there. Whatever. I'm gonna have to kill those zombies when I'm done anyway. Come on. Come on. Almost three quarters of the way. Just have that last corner to finish. Hey, good to see you. Welcome to July. Hope things have been at least semi decent. Uh, for me, I was building a creeper farm and got blown up by a creeper, which is so hilariously ironic, and I'm so happy about that. Currently a Category 5 hurricane going on in this game. Sadly, it's not a jort storm, but it should be. Don't strike anywhere near me, please. Put so much time. Please. I beg you. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. There we go. Shh. I hate how often these things spawn. And of course it saw me. Where's my pickaxe? Where's my pickaxe? Where the fuck is my pickaxe? Hey, that's good. I did notice the uh, working on art until 2 a.m., like the pros. Ah, that's right, you bitch. Stay under there with your lackeys. Yeah, W month so far, right?
Please don't let anything- Oh, come on! Why are there so many fucking mobs in this game?! Oh. Oh, come on. Hate these slabs. Love how the background music goes. Ah, that was really close. Perfectly with what I'm doing right now, which is building something in the rain while surrounded by mobs. Oh, I really hope I have enough slabs for the uh, uh, trap doors for this. It'd be a real damn shame if I run out. I'm gonna run out. I don't have enough. How? How do I not have enough? Did a full stack fall through the fucking... Probably. Hey, it's still progress nonetheless, even if it's incremental. Sorry, I got rudely interrupted. Yeah, it's progress nonetheless. Even if it's incremental. Out of this. <sighs> Here comes another one. Hey, buddy, come this way. Oh, he's too tall. Eventually, they'll figure out that they can't come up here once I sealed this all off. But I actually have to seal it off first before they can. Also, I have to go get more pumpkins again. I hate these slabs. I'm gonna have to create more trapdoors. Damn it! Yeah, the slabs make this absolutely terrible. Like I said earlier, I feel like I probably could have done this backwards, or I feel like it'd be possible to do this backwards. But the way that the guide said it, it made me place it on the slabs first, and now I'm going to have to deal with this. Yep, I'm out of trapdoors because of the damned creeper. And how many do I need? Less than 20, it looks like. Fantastic. Do I have anything else in the shulkers? Let me just double check. Oh, that's right. I lost my pickaxe, so I can't even place them down. Well. I will return, you fucking farm. Why did it have to thunderstorm right after nighttime? I get that this is a hot spot for mobs now, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna go sleep in my bed. And also make a pickaxe. Because I lost the last one. This game just makes me want to... This, this game forces me to struggle. Can't even build a simple farm without something going stupidly wrong. Yeah, let me just use the gold one. I don't care anymore. Do I have bone meal for pumpkins? Yep. Uh, I need to make 16, right? So... 
That's pretty easy. It's totally a stupid way of doing it, but I don't care. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm gonna make this even. Is that eight? Seven. That's eight. Is that squid? Come on, man. You got so much heart left in you, and all you want to do is drown on a coastal side. Let's hope I still have that, uh, oh, somewhere. I can't believe I need to make more trap doors. There it is. I do have to check what the next step is. The next steps are once I'm done with the roof bit. That way I can see exactly what I need to do. But I'm almost there. Just had a few hiccups. Oh, you can't... What? You can't bone meal these? Oh, is it because it's not... Probably not because it's, uh... You should be able to. Once it's hydro... Oh, they I just couldn't hit the hitbox. That's weird. That has a really tiny hitbox. Alright, those are fully grown. Just gotta wait for them to turn into pumpkins and spread around. I only need 16. Not gonna take too long. It really does look like a big saucer. Alright, uh, I'm gonna turn all the remaining wood that I have into trapdoors. Should be more than enough. Well, not all of it. Trapdoors. Okay, maybe I need a little more than 20. Let's try... 24, right? Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that everything is slowly coming together. That's why I started doing this anyway. Because it's just incremental things coming together. And it's and it's history. Literally history as you're watching and seeing what changes. I wonder if this will be a permanent pumpkin patch. I that looks weird, but I wonder if I should leave it there. It is just a big saucer embedded on a hill. That would have looked so much better up on the savannah, but <sighs> damn snow golems. Damn snow golems having realistic mechanics for some reason. Okay, let's hope that 24 is enough. Really hedging my bets. I think we're okay. Is that a baby zombie? Yep. Manages to charge up here, maybe so mad. Whew, five to spare. Okay. That should be all done now. So let me just leave. 
I still need the pumpkins to fix the golems now. Now my inventory's a mess. Well, that's what happens when a creeper decides to ruin your day. But hey, this is patterned now. That was the point. Looking good. Uh, do I have torches on me? Yes, I do. That helps. Oh, so uh, what it actually does... I'll, I'll explain it in a second. I just gotta go check to see if the pumpkin's... Ah, why am I on fire? Oh, we got one. That helps immensely. Yeah, I don't know, to you too. All right, four more seeds. Perfect, perfect. Uh, so how the way the farm works, uh, the circular platform is essentially, it's not the max radius per se, but it's a decent enough radius uh, for hostile mobs to spawn. The way it's built is there's slabs placed on the ground so that uh, spiders don't spawn and then there are trap doors placed above so the height is just slightly less than two blocks and that makes it so that uh, the only mobs that can spawn are creepers because they're the only ones that can walk um, underneath those trap doors eventually I'm going to place uh, these soul campfires underneath everything and what happens is the the golems hit the creepers the creepers get aggroed to the center, fall down, get burnt by the soul campfires, and then gunpowder ends up in the chests. That's how it works. It's actually, it's actually kind of simple. An alternative is to have cats chase creepers away, but I think that just having it work with golems is easier because you can build golems. Hey, there we go. Got another one. What? Why there? There's literally... A space in front of you that I built so that you wouldn't do that. <sighs> stupid plant. Very stupid plant. Okay. Now, there's nowhere for you to go other than straight. jack-o'-lanterns we're all set well not jack-o'-lanterns carved pumpkins cat sleeves are not very ethical <laughs> i mean yeah but remember they're virtual cats let's see what ended up in these chests. We got some dirt, some more dirt, some more dirt and trapdoor. Why is the diamond hoe named that? So, <clears throat> let's take a trip down memory lane. Uh, back when I was at the stronghold, before I beat the game and got uh, completely gypped because I had one less ender eye, I was told to use the diamonds that I had recovered from the chests in the stronghold to make a hoe. And because I was requested to use the diamonds that I got in the stronghold to make a hoe specifically, the hoe is named after the person who requested it. Deepest lore. Deepest lore. No further implications. Just... You are the creator, and therefore it is christened. That was, like, a month ago. Yeah, see? We forget sometimes.
I can't believe there's a bed up there that I accidentally slept in. How do you accidentally sleep in a bed? I don't know. I managed to do it. Grow faster, pumpkins. probably steal a couple from that other pumpkin patch so that way I have more. Oh, hey, we got two. Wait, where did that one just go? Oh. I remember I made an automatic, uh, what was it, pumpkin farm one time? That was really cool. I forget exactly what it uses. I think it's pistons to push. Oh, uh, there's something where it pushes the pumpkins and they get uh, knocked off. And they drop. Oh, I'd have to look it up again, but I really liked it. It wasn't as it wasn't as uh, sleek as the sugarcane farm. I mean, nothing really is. Sugarcane is super easy to use and. Very easy to manage, but it takes a while to grow. I don't know, it looked cool. Yeah, there is this is the last little remainder here of that pumpkin patch. Don't you dare look at me with them big old eyes. All right, and now we're halfway there. Gotta wait for eight pumpkins to grow and we're good. That creeper ruined everything. As they usually do. It was the village is still hip and happy as much as they can be. It would be a, a pretty big gaff if uh, villagers could use armor. Every other RPG has, like, companion types. I know people hate villagers. I do, too. But imagine if they could go on adventures with you and, like, carry your stuff. That'd be very silly. Oh, I should put this lead away. Wow, I used that much bone meal? Jeez. This goes here. These are all empty now. Oh, this one still has cobble in it. This is the last of it, though. What was that noise? Ah. I didn't mean to do that. There we go, fixed it. Oh. Bone meal here. Check the rest of my inventory, make sure. Oh, the buckets. You can put the buckets back. Actually, I can use one of the buckets to get lava. Rest of this, rest of this. Six fences for I actually don't know. I had I remember I made spares, but I didn't make that many. Now we play the waiting game. Actually, you know what I'm curious. How is the automatic sugarcane machine going? Probably painfully slowly, but... Almost a stack! Alright! Okay! It's better than nothing. 
Definitely needs some expansion. But better than nothing. Also, I like this acacia, uh, acacia tree farm now, because they're all grown in. Should also make a path here so I can get up to the farm. Oh, I actually fixed the darkness a little bit. And like I said, the trees are actually helping because they're adding space that otherwise wouldn't be there. I need to go get a shovel. How many spare fences do I have? While I'm waiting for these pumpkins, I might as well, like aesthetically make the place look a little bit better. Uh, basically none. Cool. Alright, ten. Gonna need a bit more than ten. Problem is I don't have any space now! Work backwards. Inventory will not be chock full for very long. Let's see. Torches. Oh, I can put the sticks back. Alright. Oh, shovel. And I can put the hoe back too. this side? What? I swear there was a third pumpkin here. What the hell happened? I'm going insane. Alright, six more. That acoustic guitar sounds awesome, by the way. thought I'd point it out. Ah, uh, oops. Missed a spot. Oh, having as much dirt as I have probably isn't helping either. here. Place this here. Oh, then I can actually... Aha! That looks good. this up. Eventually. Just had to light this place up and, you know, draw the path out. I'm actually going to turn the rest- yeah, you know what? I'm going to turn the rest of the wood into fences. Make it look nice. Four more. there. 
I can put the pumpkin seeds back in here too. Up oh, and two of the stacks of dirt because I don't need them. That will make this a lot easier. Up. Oh. All right, as many fences as you can get me. Twenty-four. That'll do. Need to keep at least a couple because I think I'm not done with the fences yet, but I can at least fill in a section. Is it becoming nighttime again? Well, it's all lit up now, so hopefully nothing spawns. Hey, at least every farm's now connected up. have this back. There we go. Oh, almost perfect. There we go. Oh, the lighting's weird. I think because it's just so lit up. Grass will grow over and look fine. Oh, except here. There you go. No stone. Just dirt. Perfect! And we can get up. And we have the gunpowder farm right here. And there's no way for me to exit the area. And there's not, no way for... Ah, spider! Of course, you have to ruin my day. Why are there two of you? I'm going to bed. Hey, we got two more. So that little detour did work out. What? What a complete change in trajectory because of one mob, man. Both what just happened and the creeper. Why are you in the water, Butcher? You know what? Not gonna question it. Just gonna let him do his thing. Alright, gotta wait for two more and we're done. What a journey. I'll probably put the slabs back. <sighs> Why? Still have a lot of cobble to fill in that roof. That's just tanking up my inventory. I can put the shovel back too now. Won't need it. Oh, we got one. One more and we're good. Yeah, keep dancing. Are you still aggroed to me? All right, fine, come to the village. Please, please, I implore you, come to the village. I implore you. Hey, Jeff! I got another one for you! Thanks, Jeff! It's nice living in a village. It's nice. 
Oh, I don't have any string. How you doing, Isaac? One more, one more, one more. Are there any villagers I have to level? Probably. I think I still need that toolsmith so I can um, actually get like picks and axes and things. No, that's the weapons. No, that's the toolsmith. Well, that'll be a that'll be a goal for another time. Is this him, actually? No, that's the cartographer. How are you still tradeless? I actually do want to find that armor or weaponsmith or toolsmith. Yeah, here's the armor for the full diamond set, which I got a while back. Super happy to have him. And we have... That's the cartographer. Oh, that's a different cartographer. Pardon me. Let's see. That's a librarian doing something weird. Not gonna question it. I think I put the librarian's shop block next to him. I think. I hope I did. I wonder if I wonder if it considers this section two villages now because of the fact that there are villages over here. There's the one that's actually got a job. And the cleric. Where is that arm uh, toolsmith? Cartographer. I didn't lose the toolsmith, did I? Fisherman. Okay, there's the weaponsmith. Yep. You're good. That's the other cartographer. Did he turn into a cartographer? I think he might have turned into a cartographer. Yeah, I'm betting on it. Oh, well. Again, battle for later. Hey, we got our last pumpkin. Oh, wow. Holy. A lot grew. Ugh, thank God. All right. I can go place down the, the snow golems again. Thankfully, they have a roof over them, too, or else they'd die to the rain. First, I have to get up there, though. Shouldn't be too much of a hassle because I do have a way around. Oh, come on. That was what, like a 30 minute detour because of what happened? Jesus Christ. One thing I'm super happy about is I didn't have to go back and get any snow. Twice. Nearly completely screwed that up twice. Okay. I'm actually going to place a block. Oh, right. I'm actually going to place a block above here. Just to make sure that they don't get killed by the rain. That would be very not cool. Oh, okay. They do take a nick of damage, but it's basically nothing. How many golems have I made today? 33? This will be 33. The 
first one that died in the savannah. The second set of 16 that I had to kill because I spawned in them. And now this last set of 16. I, didn't, I also didn't know that you could make golems sideways. Learn something new every day. Whoop. There we go. Okay. What a mess. <sighs> we're back to where we were. We're back to where we were. Go down to the collection area and add campfires on top of the hoppers. Okay. Took long enough to get here. And I'm in the collection area. Not my intention, but hey, we can do it from here. Break this chest, hang on. Or I drown. Come on. Did it get collected? Yeah, it did. All oh, right. Because I don't have any way of getting in. And I have to reattach this to the other side. There we go. Easy fix. And now I can place the other three campfires. Aha! Okay, now it's functional. It actually does what I want, which is kill stuff. Oh, there's that cobble. Now we just have to cover it up and create the AFK spot, and we're done. This took a lot longer than I probably wanted it to. But, it's done, or at least it's going to be. Yeah, in the video, like, I'm doing this so I can have gunpowder for, for fireworks so I can use my elytra. The, in the video, they're using elytras to get back up to the top of the farm. Oh, I need four fences. Five. I need five fences. How many do I have? Two, okay. Welcome back. Good to see you. Hope things have been well. Welcome to July as well. Been here for, we've been in July for Two, if not three days now. Three days. Yeah, three days. That's the fourth for me. Well, almost the fourth. Uh, man, farm should not take two and a half hours to build. <laughs> hey, no worries. Uh, my schedule is actually going to shift next month, I think? Because I'm switching time zones basically completely. So things should align much better for stuff. At least for me. Like, AM, AM EST is, is going to be so gross. I'm not going to do that anymore. It's probably going to be PM EST. Uh... Fences. Really, really drew a blank there for a second. Yeah, exactly. Most people's. 
I met I I, I have uh, met a lot of wonderful people though who come from all different time zones, so it's really cool. But um, I'm I'm definitely in an Eastern Standard sort of deal, so switching back to that time zone is going to be very comfortable. What's up here? Gotta get more cases so I can make a fence. And no, I'm not getting an axe because I'm lazy. I knew I needed the fences for something. Of course, I, I opted for aesthetics other than functionality. Oh well. There we go. Turn this all into planks, and then let's go make those last... Oh yeah, it's three fences, so that's actually perfect. Should have exactly enough. I hear you, you dumb spider. Plenty of time to work on rhythm game stuff for the road trip. Uh, gonna be going on. Finally have dedicated time to work on old DDR Edify crossover project that kind of ended a while. Cool! Good for you. Absolutely work on it. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's really, really gratifying that you can you can do that again. That's cool. Absolutely 100 percent time comes so rarely. Alright, five fences. Perfect. Let's go finish this stupid thing. Damn saucer of death. Should be all I need, right? Yeah. Hopefully. Is that a creeper? Better not be. Got all the songs synced up to Step Mania. It's like songs set up for Edify as well. I've seen one or two. If if I have, it's been quite a bit. But yeah, whatever comes out of that, fully support. Which me not even finish one song at that time. <laughs> hey, you know, sometimes you get distracted. It's fine. It's part of the process. It's a, it's a road trip, you know. But if you manage to, uh, if you manage to finish something, that's actually awesome. So, and hey, it is summertime. I heard, I heard free time is a commodity these these months for most people, unless you work a nine to five job and then kind of have to get paid time off. Anyway, that's besides the point. I got a piston and lever to push the Oh, I can do this way easier. Watch this. Up. Up. Up, up. I love how it auto updated. That was cool. Now, yeah, it's right in the middle. Perfect. Can we get rid of the temporary blocks now? Can we? Please. Please. Oh, thank God. Okay. We can get rid of the temporary blocks. Make the center, mark the center side of the farm. This will be helpful later. Okay. Building blocks, yay! Took long enough to get to this step. I can actually use all this cobble that I farmed. This is the easy part.
Big ol' circle. Reset Mania plan on getting all the Crown Island songs alongside Artificial Chariot and Heracles. Nice. Oh, oh the remix. Uh, no, that last remix isn't official, but it sounds too good to not at least try. Yeah, go for it. Honestly, Art Artificial Chariot and Step Mania sounds like a, a trip. No, I have not. That's why. That's why I was like. The re uh, that's why I was like the remix. Actually, while I'm while I'm here, let me open that up in a separate tab for later. Let's see. Heracles Fury Mix. All right. Oh, it's a lot faster. Oh God. I don't think my small brain can keep up then. Oh, ah. There we go. Okay. We're so close to the end of this damn farm. Oh, shit. Thank you, Golden Pickaxe. Very cool. I got this golden pickaxe from. It's so useless. That poor tessellation that I made is gone forever. It's fine. It's fine. No one's going to see it anyway. I took way too much time on it. in the side of a wall so I can climb right back up. Hopefully I have enough torches to light at the top as well because they will spawn on top of this. What are the zombies doing? 200 BPM? That is definitely a bump. I mean, mind you, that's not stupid fast. But since Heracles at base is already pretty fast, that is definitely a bump up. Again, I'll, I will listen to it. Like, I will, I'll definitely listen to it after. I always do. Dragon Force speed. Dragon Force! Actually, I think Dragon Force hits like 220 sometimes. I don't know. I'd have to get like a, like a MIDI file or something of... Um, I don't know, Operation Ground and Pounder uh, through the Fire and Flames or something to see just how fast those songs are. But I feel like they push like the 220, 240 range. Unless they don't, it just feels fast because it's a constant gallop. Okay! I do not want to do this right now, guys. 215. Oh, uh, okay. I was close. Yeah, I don't want to kill him, because if I do... Why now, man? I don't have any milk. Fine, I'll just fill in the roof while you shoot at me. Why do you have so much fucking accuracy? Alright, I'm gone. Bye, bye. Goodbye. 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 Piss off. So if I have some... Oh, fuck. Broke my legs. Well, that's fine. That's one way of fixing the issue. Seriously? I'm about to finish a gunpowder farm and a pillager envoy shows up. Does this game not want me to finish anything without something stupid happening? 
The first mistake was mine, because I placed a snow golem in a hot biome. Everything after that was just kind of BS! He's still probably up there. No, he's gone. Thank God. This game hates me more than Binding of Isaac does. Fuck off! What do you, people have my location on GPS? Jesus. I've slept, right? No phantoms? Hopefully. Ran out of bread, so I'm sort of brute forcing this. It should be more than enough cobble to fill this in. Still amazed at how they get the block count exact every time that they make one of these farms. Then again, they probably count every single block they place when they do it, so. Oops. Oh, come on. It's fine. I don't even right-click that. Okay, halfway there. Ran into a brick wall earlier than working on the Edify side of the project. Won't be able to look, upload the songs to the Steam Workshop due to copyright. Ooh. Ah, yeah. There you go. There's a bypass. Google Drive. I didn't know Steam had a. Is that is that eight oh is that um was it seventh beat preventing you from doing copyright stuff or is that literally Steam saying no you can't do this. I'm gonna be surprised if it's if it's Valve uh, gating you with that. Oh, well, there you go. The solution's already there. Just take it. Oh, it's seventh beat. Okay, that makes sense though. They have they have a very uh, solid modding community, but I understand the uh, the copyright concerns. Copyright's a fickle thing. Oh wow the. <laughs> EGM stopped right as I said that. Well, here's what we're gonna do. Hundred percent support. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's that. It's the whole intellectual property argument. And there's so many, so many like loopholes and ways that people can take advantage of it, stuff like that. So it just comes down to the fact that. Most of the time, uh, it's it's for the greater good, and it's to protect like people's creative aspects and um, like monetary decisions and things like that. It's just it's so easy for for people to take advantage of it that it becomes its own problem. It should be more fleshed out, but it's never going to be. Is if there's a way to extort it and get money off of it, people will find a way. Especially with music. Music's a, a hellion when it comes to copyright stuff. Oh, he found out halfway through the thirds. Whew. All that time invested. Mark the center spot. Go up 115 with scaffolding. Alright, 64. Like how it just disintegrates into nothing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, seven, one. 
64 plus 62. 64 plus 52 is... Oh, we're off by one. Oh, that's fine. Right? 62 plus 64 is 126. Subtract 10 from that is 116. So yeah, gotta take one off the top. No big deal. Not sure how you share them in terms of making them playable levels, because the only way to switch between them is the editor and just throw it into a random folder. Uh, I don't I don't know the back end. Um I don't know the back end of that sort of stuff. But if I had to if I had to guess. Sorry, I'm I'm not thinking I'm simultaneously watching the video. Uh, I don't know the back end of that sort of stuff, but I assume there is a way to like obviously uh, port the files directly into the game. It's just, it's, yeah, it's a workaround, I'm sure. I'm no, I'm no rocket scientist. I'm just saying what I think. Yeah, build one block up and then make a three by three. Okay. We're almost done. This is the AFK spot. Oop. And until I get. Uh, what is it? Until I get the gunpowder for the elytra, I'm going to keep the scaffold in here. And I can just build up some walls. And build a roof over my head. Ah, uh, a little short. That's fine. Can I use any blocks to? Ah, eh, whatever. Do you just have? Do you just have to place it on top? Oh yeah. Yeah, you can just place a slab. Simple way to do it, just a word. It's kind of sketch. Eh, everything's always sketch at first. Make sure at Y level. So I'm not at Y level 189. Um, yeah, I'm at 206. But that's fine. Just make sure that that's... Last thing, light up the roof. Oh, light up the roof. Whew. Good thing he said that. Oh, that would have been bad. Mobs love to spawn. Watch them already have started spawning at the top here. Hey, you can see the entire village. Yep, they did. Called it. Oh, that's a lot, too. All right, gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Holy... I'm gonna take a rest in the bed if I can make it there on time. Jeez, that was a lot. It's a good thing I came down after building the platform. Hey, it's like uh, it's like me when I can't get my sleep schedule right, falling asleep at 5 a.m. Yep, there we go. There's a platform. Mobs should be burning to death or despawned by now. Should. For fuck's sake. There we go. Yeah, I see you, stupid creeper. Hey, walk towards me. Walk towards me. Thank you. I'm gonna die. The skeleton hits me once. Yep. <sighs> I hate hard mode, man. They don't miss. I just have to make sure that the farm works so that I can call it for today. Jesus Christ.
Only reason I'm not reactivating the playlist is because I'm afraid the game will crash. Yeah, I see you, stupid creeper. Is that spider hostile? You better not be. I hear you squirking around me. Squirking around me. Yeah, of course they're fucking hostile. That's the name of a Pantera song, I think. Fucking hostile. I think. It's been a minute since I've listened to Pantera. Alright, let's light up this stupid roof. Four torches around the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Make sure you burn in the daytime sun, you bastard. Six blocks in between. There are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wow, the music is super loud. Hold on. Did not mean for it to be that loud. Goodbye, music. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do the same on the diagonals. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh! Bollocks. Well, that's fine. Where the hell did you come from? Also, it's raining scaffolds. Why do you have a shovel? Why do you have my shovel? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then right at the edges. Should be more than enough light. Should is the key word. Sad to add torch in between, I will. Right here. Right here. Right here. And right here. Okay. Yeah, that should be enough light. Uh, let me head up, sit for about a minute or so, see if I get any gunpowder at all. Gotta place the scaffolding again, though. <laughs> There we go. On the 805 side of things, uh, keep that to a minimum. Uh, max 300 Paranoia Hades Midnight Mix. Glitter, whoa, Glitter Flatter Scatter. Uh, featuring triple planet sections. Uh, a, it's just called A. And something I sadly cannot read. Oh, I don't even recognize the kanji in that. I want this one to actually be actually yeah no 100 percent if it's if it's your favorite make it as best the best that you possibly can be so there's a there's a sense of of pride in making making a song that you really 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 want to look good have the most effort put into it for sure Good. Oh yeah, I wanted to sit up here for a second. Oh, and I can do this. Yep, there's the AFK, uh, what is it, AFK lover. If I want to keep it there. Let me just sit up here for a little bit. And once I head back down, hopefully it'll all be good to go. Should be done too, should be the end of the video. 
Creeper farm is ready. You can add more layers. You add more layers, you get more gunpowder. Yada, yada, yada. I know how this works. I'm a professional. And by that, I mean I'm stupid. <laughs> According to Google Translate, translates to Machine of Grief, which doesn't sound right. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. I don't know. Who am I to judge? I may have a fundamental understanding of the language, but I don't understand the uh, nuance behind it most of the time. But you probably say that about any language, though. That's why linguistics is so famous. see we got any degree of gunpowder then I did it right I hear creepers I hear a lot of creepers Are you kidding me? Dude, this thing's super efficient. Minus the fact that I'm literally getting chased by one. This thing's so efficient, what the fuck? That was almost a stack already, that's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. Are you fucking kidding me? I baited on purpose, you fuck. Of course, of course, they can never, never end it off on a high note. Always have to end it off with some stupid shit happening. I was far enough away, Minecraft. I was far enough away. Yeah, honestly, the farm is popping off. I was not expecting it to be that efficient, but that is crazy good. You know what? For all the for all the shit that I've had to put up with today. That was worth it. Sadly, this path's a little fucked now. You know, we'll fix that next time. I'll stand right in front of it so that I'm fully aware that I have to fix it. But I'm done. I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm somehow stressed for the amount of shit that has happened today with this fucking farm. But it was worth it. Once I, once I upgrade to 120, which is going to happen next time I play, I'll have an elytra to fly around with with fireworks. Hydrate, thank you. Last hydration send off for the day. But yeah, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> Holy shit. This game hates me. This game hates me more than other games hate me. Uh... Anyway. <sighs> what time is it? Yeah, it's late. All right. Uh, for anyone who popped in during the stream, thanks so much. Always happy to chat. For anyone watching the, the VOD, good to see you as well. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Dude, this, this, today was bullshit. <laughs> today was just straight bullshit. I don't know how else to say it. Um, yeah, on Wednesday, uh, more Pokemon. On Friday, more Elden Ring. Only, th Elden Ring! Uh, only, only three streams this week, because, uh, uh, things are a little, yeah, busy, a little hectic. But that's fine. Still streaming. Still having a good time. Uh, anyway, with that, I will see you later. Have a wonderful rest of your day slash night. We're in July, folks. We're halfway through the year. See ya.